How does it feel to be here this morning as one of our scholarship presenters? I mean, I went to school on scholarships. I know what it feels like to work really hard for it. Um, and yeah, it's just fun to be here to celebrate some other kids. What advice would you give to these young women who are looking to pursue careers in entertainment? Be yourself. I mean, there's a space for you here. It's needed. I think stepping outside of a community that raised you that is not necessarily the one that is always having a light shown on it or not being elevated. We elevate each other and you're, you're very needed. Like uh, you being in the rooms that you're in and being exactly who you are is what we all need. I love that. That's such great advice. For you, you've had a huge year with Killers of the Flower Moon. Golden Globe nominations are next week. As we move into the, <laughs> no, no pressure, but as we move into the height of award season, how are you feeling? Is it, is there pressure? Is it nerve wracking or is it just exciting? You know, it's all of it. It's, um, pressure can feel like a really good hug too, so. You've been going to so many events, you know, to promote the film ahead of these award nominations. Has Leo or Marty given you any advice on kind of dealing with the whole award season whirlwind? Uh, not particularly, but they do just provide a really good, uh, good support being there and having fun. And I think maybe the advice is in the action. It's, uh, they just enjoy themselves. They don't take it more seriously than is necessary, which has been nice. Like they just set the tone for it. So yeah, it's honestly felt way more chill than I thought it would. That's good. We're here this morning celebrating women in entertainment. Can you name a female-led TV show or movie that you love? Female-led TV show or movie that I love. You know, the only one that comes to mind, and it's just because it's one of my dad's favorite movies. He's seen it, like, probably eight, nine times. It's Bad Moms. <laughs> like, I mean, I think my dad was a stay-at-home dad when I was early childhood. My mom worked. She was the one that, like, kept us going, and my dad is the one who stayed at home and did all of the parenting in my early childhood. So, honestly, because society doesn't necessarily elevate the stay-at-home dad, but that film, like, really cracks into the humor of what that is, to have everything kind of fall on you to, to be with the kids all the time, I think... It took a really strong female-led comedy, which is like his favorite genre, to make him feel seen. So I just have a soft spot in my heart for that one.